Hey, good evening, beloved. This is Get Out of the Book Kev. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to do a video tonight, but uh, I just got a <clears throat> little bit of encouragement from a friend up, <clears throat> up, in, uh, up a little bit north of me here. And uh, I just wanted to thank that sister for uh, just being a consistent source of encouragement. And uh, you know who you are. <laughs> So I'm not going to mention your name. Don't want to embarrass you. Anyhow, thank you, sister. Up north. Just a little ways up north there. <laughs> By the lake. Anyhow, um, got another uh, installment of the rabbit. It's going I'm going to, I'm going to do a revision on that, uh, on that one I did earlier, who I found. And, uh, hopefully this will be a little more, uh, clear and understandable because it's got some uh, it's got a good message it's brother Christopher's uh, you know internal struggle <laughs> do you have an internal struggle or uh, is it just me and him that's got that going on anyhow <clears throat> yeah so it's just him sharing his heart man and uh, some of the things he's been through and uh, what he uh, come to find out at the conclusion of all the matter he found himself man you know <laughs> And if you don't understand where he's coming from and uh, what that's all about, then uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you haven't looked inside yourself closely and deeply enough and uh, asked the Lord and His Holy Spirit to examine you. And uh, that's that's all part of what it's about. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. And I hope it's clearer than uh, that previous uh, attempt that I made. So... Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name, and uh, I love you, and I thank you and, uh, for your encouragement and support. And uh, without further ado, as I say, let's hope I can hit the right button in the dark. I want to tell you a little story about my journey home. And who I found. As I traveled through the valleys of life. I stopped at the hardest point I had ever traveled. this little boy with dreamy eyes of a prince sitting there in an empty stare as he cries over broken hopes soaked within his hands I could hear them whisper off the leaves in that late autumn breeze I wasn't, I was running, 
having endured more through life than I would even dare to share. Grace the face I wear while I battle everyday despair. Seems I'm tied inside to this war-torn child by shattered dreams and a still broken smile. Choosing to remain in the pain of our same gray day, I'm not leaving here without him. Everything in common and nothing left to give. Holding hope, he's holding me, and these I need to live. How a life full of fears, flowing in tears, has brought me to where I am. I spent life trying to walk as a lion, and here I'm finding a little boy crying, laying beneath me like a lamb. And finally, I see what became of me as I travailed like I didn't need help. It's not what I found, but who I found. For right here beneath me, I just found myself. <clears throat> All right, there it is. And uh, you know what? That's just a little bit of soul searching going on in Brother Christopher. And that's just him reflecting on uh, some things that's happened to him. You know what? <laughs> I can relate. And uh, I can relate, especially uh, the timing uh, that he had some things go on and the timing that I had some things go on. I tell you, beloved, we are under attack. <laughs> Satan hates your guts, hates my guts. And uh, he knows his time is short, and he's going after the anointed of God. And uh, that's kind of what that's about. And my, my 2013 wasn't, wasn't the most fun. <laughs> And uh, you know what? I got whacked, and uh, you know what? I got I, I, I took an offense, man, and I know better. But I took that offense in, and I nurtured it, and I've messed around with it for most, you know, better part of this year, and I'm still trying to shake it all off and get uh, get myself in the right mindset and get everybody forgiven that needs forgived, and <laughs> I'm just trying to get right. And uh, I want to put this year behind me. And all the things that I blew it, where I blew it, and messed up, and goofed up, and uh, I'm looking forward to going into, you know, the new year with a whole new mindset and a whole new perspective. And uh, I just hope you, uh, if you had anything go haywire on you this year, that you put it behind you. You bury that. You bury that in Jesus' name. And that you rise up from the ashes of whatever it was that might have tried to derail your walk with Christ, and... Uh, just head on forward and get back on that narrow path. I love you. I thank you. I encourage and exhort you to uh, take heed to the words uh, that Christopher's bringing you. You know, they're from the Lord. And if anything <laughs> is downloaded into me to encourage and exhort and admonish or whatever, for whatever purpose, that I, I pray that you would, uh, that it would, uh, it would hit the target. You know, it would uh, create the, the activity within you that uh, the Lord desires because you know what it's all about moving <laughs> it's all about moving in the Holy Spirit and it's in him we live we move and have our being I love you in Jesus name I hope this was a blessing to you I'll talk to you later bye bye